Welcome back and Happy New Year. Wanted to do a video today on package bees versus nucleus colonies known as nukes. It's uh, dead of winter now, and this is a time where everybody should be researching where they're going to be getting their bees from if they're looking to start in the spring. So this is probably a good time to put this video out. Package bees are bees that come in a, a box, a package, and that's what you get, a package of bees, nothing else. You're going to get a queen, and she'll be isolated in a little cage within that package. And then you get about 3,000 bees. They come in, um, I think the most common will be three pound packages. So you, you wind up having, a, you know, few thousand bees in there to get you started. A nuke or nucleus colony, which is basically a part of a, another hive, um, will come with probably about the same amount of bees. However, with a nuke, uh, it's going to come on frames that are already drawn and working. They're generally five frame nukes. That's the probably the most common. They generally come in deep frames. I don't see too many advertised in uh, medium frames, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. So a side by side comparison of nukes versus packages. Nukes will generally be available later in the season. So if you're very anxious and you really want to get going on your bees as early as possible, packages will be available in, usually in the very early spring. You usually order them online and they'll give you a pickup date as the time gets closer. And it's, they'll usually have pickups for first, second, third week of April. Um, not saying that packages are not available later than that, but they, uh, they're available much sooner than nukes. Nukes are available about a month later. I know I usually set my dates and I tell people May 15th as a starting point and I will adjust that time accordingly as you know, it, it gets closer. One thing to keep in mind with nukes, if you're worried about the nuke being behind because you're getting it later, it's, it's not the case because they they're already a working hive. They're coming with eggs, larvae, and capped brood. And they also come with capped uh, honey and pollen. So they're coming with the resources that they need to survive. Whereas packages are going to come with a can of syrup for them to survive the trip. And then um, you install them into your box. Now they have to draw out 10 frames to get going. And they have to draw out the first couple frames for even the queen to start laying. Whereas a nuke, they're already laying and they already have brood that's going to be cycling in. And that hive is going to be growing from day one. Package bees are generally less expensive than nukes. They are not coming with anything but the bees and a queen. Whereas a nucleus colony is coming with both of those things plus five frames. Um, and they're already drawn out. So, and sometimes they come with the actual box itself. Uh, my prices are set to include the box. If you choose that you don't want the actual box itself and you want to bring your equipment to my yard and load them up, you know, people are welcome to do that, but I credit back um, the cost of the box. Uh, some people do it that way. Other people will let you take the box and uh, charge you like a deposit for the box and you can, you know, bring it back to them and get your deposit back or keep the box and they keep your deposit. So you do have to pay for that wooden wear. I mean, a, a nuke could be anywhere from the equipment itself. The box could be anywhere from, you know, 30 to 50 something dollars, depending on the materials are made out of. Package bees may be a little more intimidating to install to some people. Uh, keep in mind you're getting the bees in a package and you have to somehow get them from that package into their permanent home. You're pulling out all of your frames, you know, or a bunch, you know, at least five of your frames, four or five of your frames, and you're going to dump those bees in there. You know, you're going to, you know, give the box a good wrap to get the bees to all fall to the corner. You're going to shake them and you got to get them all through this little hole. It's kind of like that little game with the with the little ball bearings. You got to get the ball bearings all in a little hole. 
it's kind of what it's like installing a package. And um, the bees don't like that. <laughs> they just, they don't like being knocked around and shaken. And when you install a package, you just got to get in there and do that. So the likelihood of getting stung is a little greater. And that may be a little disconcerting to a brand new beekeeper. Whereas a nuke, you're just taking a nuke box right next to your equipment, your 10 frame equipment, you're taking out the five frames, the undrawn frames, or because you're going to have 10 frames in your brand new equipment. And you're going to take those five drawn frames from the nuke and install them right in the center and then have your other undrawn frames that were left in the box. And then those five frames that came with your equipment, you're just going to leave aside to add to the top box when the time comes. So yeah, nukes are less intimidating. Don't get me wrong. You still may get stung and you still may get some bees that are not too happy. You are taking them and disrupting them from their temporary home and moving them. With package bees, there is a slight risk of the bees absconding. And I, I, I want to stress slight. Um, I've read how it has, you know, it happens. And, but I don't think it's, it's like a 50-50 shot. I, I'm going to stick to saying that it, it's a slight chance. Uh, I've installed, you know, few packages early on in my beekeeping journey, and I've never had one uh, leave. But I, I have heard of, of it happening, so I have to assume that it does happen. Uh, nucleus colonies, since they come with eggs, larvae in all stages, and cat brood, it's already a working hive. Bees are just much, much less likely to leave behind brood that they need to take care of. I don't want to get too far ahead, but when, when people catch swarms and they have that swarm in a brand new box to anchor those bees in there, they will go into one of their hives and get some frames of capped brood um, and larva and put it in there. One, it boosts that hive, but most importantly, the fact that they have to take care of something it, it kind of anchors them into that box. So that's why I would say that there is a um, less chance of bees absconding from a, a nuke. Uh, I can't stress enough. I, I, I don't even want to say that. It, 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 it's not likely that package bees are going to abscond, but the chance is there because there's, there's just nothing anchoring them then in that box. I, I do want to cover one point. I hear a lot of people saying that packages have a higher queen fail rate or a queen mortality rate. And I believe the statistic, I just don't believe that it's necessarily because the queens are substandard or the package is substandard. This is my theory. I, I just, uh, so I don't want you to think that this is fact. This is my theory. Um, Let's consider the fact, though, that most brand new beekeepers tend to favor packages. It's the most common way, I, I believe, to start bees. So is it possible that since it's new beekeepers that are taking the majority of the packages, that it's their inexperience that's causing the failure of the package bees and not the bees or the quality of the bees themselves? I don't know. That's food for thought. Uh, again, I'm not saying that as a fact. That's just my opinion and, and my thought on that. And I, I, I think it needs, it should be considered if you're going to consider um, bee mortality. I just, I feel like a new beekeeper can make the same mistake with a nuke that they could with a package bee and have the same negative result with the nuke. It's just that we don't have all of that data because, again, most people start with packages. I hope this video was very informative and helps you make your decision. Either one that you choose, it's not going to be a wrong decision. It's just there might be one that was better for you. So I, I wouldn't stress too much on it and uh, lose sleep over it. Just take all those and figure out what is important to you and you should be able to you know, base a, uh, your decision off of that and make a pretty good one at that. So thanks for joining me. Have a great day.